Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to draw Arlo and Spot from the new movie Pixar's The Good Dinosaur. Get a piece of paper out and let's get started. Okay, so I want you to first draw a letter S-like shape. You see how it curves, just like a letter S? Draw it on the upper right side of the piece of paper. Then, at the very bottom, draw part of a circle. This will be the back of the dinosaur. If I ever go too fast, you could just use the pause button. Then, I want you to draw two oval shapes. This will be the dinosaur's eyes. Then draw a letter C shape at the bottom of the face. This will be the chin of the dinosaur. And then draw a backward letter S like curve shape. What I mean by that is draw a curve that goes in and then out like a wave. Now go ahead and draw the other side of the tail. It also goes in and then out like a wave. Draw a curved line and then another curved line for the dinosaur's neck. Then draw a letter M-like shape at the top of the head. And then another slightly curved line below the right eye. Then draw two circles, one in each eye. Draw another circle in each eye and then draw a seed shape for each nostril. Draw a curved line above each eye and below each eye. And then draw a curved line at the top of the smile. Lightly draw two ovals on the back of the dinosaur. This eventually will be the little boy. Notice that the two ovals sort of look like a number eight shape. Now I want you to draw a circle in each of the dinosaur's eyes. This will be the highlights of his eyes, the parts that are white. Then just draw a bunch of ovals on the dinosaur's snout. This will be the texture of his face. Lightly draw a curved line like a letter U shape on the top of the boy's face. And then draw letter D like shapes on both sides of his body. Eventually these will be his arms. I'm going to zoom in now on the boy so you can see better when I draw him. Let's see here. Okay. Go ahead and draw a guideline through his face, both through the center horizontally and vertically. Make sure to draw those lines lightly since we're going to be deleting, be erasing those later on. Then go ahead and draw two ovals, one for each eye. Then draw a letter C shape for each of his ears. Draw a curved line for the top of his smile. And then draw a letter S shape at the top of his head. This will be one of his hairs. We're going to draw a bunch of uh, letter V-like shapes for some of his other hairs. Each of these letter V shapes are sort of curved.
go ahead and draw a letter S shape on the left side of his, his body. This will be his, his leg. He sort of sits sort of like a frog. And then draw a curved line on the right side of his body. This will be a, one of his legs as well. Go ahead and draw a circle on each of his eyes. And then another circle on each of his eyes. Draw another curved line for the bottom of his smile. And then very lightly draw three circles where his nose should be. Later on we're going to be erasing these, so don't draw, draw them very heavily. Draw another letter S shape on the left side of the first letter S shape. This is the curl on, on his forehead. Draw a letter S shape on the left side of his hair. And then draw a letter V shape at the top of his head. Draw another letter V shape. And then a letter W shape on the right side of his face. All the hairs, other than the S shapes, all look like letter Vs or letter Ws. Another letter W shape. And then draw a curved line on the top of each of his eyes for the eyebrows. I want you then to draw very lightly two rectangles, one on each of his, the bottom of each of his arms. This will help you draw the hand later. Sorry, I have a cold. Okay, let's go ahead and draw a circle in each of his eyes. That shouldn't be, let me just clear that. Okay. Draw a circle in each of his eyes for the highlight. And then draw a letter M shape or a number three shape for his tongue. And then connect both sides of the mouth with a curved line. Go ahead and draw a line around all three of the circles of his nose. That is the shape of his nose. We only drew the circles so that you could see how to draw the difficult shape of the nose. Draw a sideways letter E shape for, the, for his front teeth. And then let's continue to draw his hairs. As you can see, the, the curve on the, on the side of his face looks like a letter S. Let's draw some more hairs. Again, these are S curves. Letter V shapes. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just hair. Now draw a letter J shape for the starting of his loincloth, which is sort of like his underwear. A few letter L, uh, two letter J shapes and one M shape in the center. I know it's strange that I, I say that everything looks like letters, but I, I think it's a good way to teach people how to draw. It's not for everyone though. Not everybody likes to be taught that way, so if it annoys you, I, I apologize. Go ahead and outline the mouth. And then draw another letter M shape to the left of his tongue. Draw oval nostrils. And a rectangle tooth. And a letter U shaped tooth. Then go ahead and lightly draw ovals on the left hand. These are just guidelines, so draw them very lightly. On the right hand, draw a backwards number seven like shape for his thumb and first finger. Go ahead and draw a letter C shape to the left of the left hand. And then draw another another J shape on his loincloth. And another. 
and then draw a sideways number two shape below the M on the loincloth. Draw a letter V shape at the top of his hair, and then let's draw a curved line at the top of each of his eyebrows. Draw a letter U shape below the tongue. So now the letter M shape and the letter U shape form the tongue. Go ahead and add some more hairs. Starting to look like him. Go ahead and draw another letter M shape for his, his teeth on the left of his, his mouth. And another rectangle for the top right tooth. And another. That one sort of looks like a sideways letter E shape. And then draw the last tooth on the left, which sort of looks like a letter J shape. Go ahead and draw some curved, curved lines for the fingers. Sort of looks like letter C shapes for the, on the left foot. And then go ahead and outline all the guides on the left hand that we drew. Just outline everything that you drew. And now you have a hand. Go ahead and draw a curved line on the right hand to connect the fingers to the arm. Go ahead and finish up the hair with two letter V shapes. There you go. Basically just erase every guideline that we made and any lines that you don't need and then you have Arlo and Spot. Let me zoom out so you can see the picture. Oops, zoom in. Zoom out too much. See? Got the whole picture there. Using a little. Sorry about that. There you go. Uh, come back soon for more tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye.